up guys, it's another coming at you with another episode of But Does It Spin? And today, today we finally got our hands on the last Beyblade of Wave 1 of Pro Series. Now we did already open the other two, which is Chosey Valtriac and Chosey Achilles. Um, and so the last one in the first wave uh, is Orb On Guard, which has been slightly uh, difficult to track down. But here we have it. Um, the packaging is a little dented and not very pretty, but that's okay because we are going to be opening and checking it out. Um, and yeah, this this I do have a little bit of a soft spot for Orb On Guard because uh, one of my first um, Slingshock Beyblades was Orb On Guard. Um, <laughs> And of course, that version doesn't have all the gimmicks, doesn't have the metal spheres, um, and this isn't a real suction cup in in the Slingshot version. I don't I don't know if this is a real suction cup here in Pro Series. We'll have to check it out. But uh, that said, I always thought it looked super crazy, you know, like a like a crazy Medusa or a Hydra hair kind of deal. I don't know. Um, but I always had a soft spot for this. I always thought it looked cool. Um, and now here we have it in Pro Series. So, you know, this is fantastic. Let's check it out and see if they spin. And here we are with everything out of the box. Uh, let's take a look at the layer first. This is Orb On Guard. Very cool, very cool. You can see that the metal balls are there, which was lacking on, on the Hasbro, normal Hasbro side. Um, it, all of these details are metal, I believe. Um, so the layer itself is slightly heavy. Um, nothing too crazy, but you know, still a decent weight. And as you can see, I already did put the stickers. Um, I felt like it was a little lacking in the Hydra heads. Maybe, you know, some eyes would have been nice. I don't know. Um, but I never had the Takeratomi one either. So maybe they didn't have there back then either. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's very uh, defensive. I do like it quite a bit. The Forge disc is Sting, and uh, this one is Sting P. Um, it is pretty much exactly the same as the Takeratomi Sting, but over here they do need to say oh, Sting. This is called Sting P for Pro Series because the Sting that Hasbro made for the normal um, Hasbro base did look slightly different. It was, uh, they had the shape all in metal, but they didn't have all this, you know. Um, so yeah, this does have the bound effect. So it's it's spring-loaded, um, so that when it gets hit, it kind of like rebounds it, <laughs> or whatever. Um, it's, it's an okay uh, disc, I guess it is pretty heavy but the important thing about this set is is this driver it is quest and as you can see it does have a working suction cup um, and it does have free spin on there it has weights on it so that um, it will spin more which is fantastic I do like this quite a bit in comparison um, this is the normal Hasbro one you can see that these are all plastic. There's no metal in here. The orb in it, the little ball doesn't move either. Um, the disc, you can see that it is something else. It is Omega. Uh, and though, because this is Slingshock, they did have like a free spinning mode if you detach this. Um, but the suction cup was made of plastic, so that didn't work at all. And if you click it in, it wouldn't spin. So it did have those two modes. If you pulled it out, then it was free spinning, uh, but not as well as this, because this one is weighted. This one is just plastic on plastic, so it doesn't really spin very well. Um, and of course, it's much lighter. But you know, uh, it's finally good to have the actual thing here with us. Um, the launcher, of course, is the light launcher from Pro Series. I think it's fantastic. It's much better than um, the Hasbro's other uh, ripcord launchers. I do think this Pro Series one is much better. 
uh, in performance. So without further ado, let's uh, let's assemble this and test it out. Put it to battle against the other two Chozies of this wave, which is Chozy Achilles and Chozy Vatriac. Um, we will also be putting it against to fight against the normal Hasbro just to see uh, how they do. And yeah, so let's go. And that's it folks. Um, as you can see, Orban Guard is fantastic. He does, the suction cup does work wonders. Um, it does stick very well. Uh, it did, it did lose once um, to even Slingshot. He lost once to Chosy uh, Achilles, but it did burst them both. Um, it's burst, uh, it doesn't, like I guess his teeth are, are pretty good enough that it, it is harder to burst but of course Valkyrie does hit really hard so it did end up losing to Valkyrie um, but yeah take the conclusions you'd like um, I think it's a fantastic defense bay um, at least for the pro series um, that we have um, I definitely think it's a nice one to have the collection especially because of the gimmicks that he has and everything um but yeah so that's what i had to show that's what i had to tell you uh take the conclusions you'd like um leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos like this we are bringing more beyblades to the channel we are bringing more beyblade pro series we are bringing more beyblade speedstorm uh, some more quad drive though not as much um, because there aren't that many out here in brazil so far 
But, you know, we are um, slowly increasing our collection here in the channel. So stay tuned, and until then, stay nerdy, guys.